One, begin. Cast die, commit to kill. Instant shot out from Demon Fox. Drops Looks the like... berries right away, and that was a hit on tape. Yeah. Interesting target. Not the one I would have gone for. Because, uh, Tate's gonna take a while to chew through. It's gonna take about a year for the pain centers to actually register something, and about another year, fax to triplicate, actually affect the brain. But Abel Green is gonna be the much, much easier target for TGS. I think Damon heard you, and he tried to put a shot onto Abel Green, but did not connect. But he is trying to keep that lined up. Abel Green already capturing zone one. See, Tate has graciously already dropped the sim speed of my server. As for you. <laughs> Wouldn't expect anything less. Yeah. Uh, TGS spreading out a little bit. Ash moving towards the upper capture zone. Demon not far behind. Liam has dropped down on his own. Maybe going for that bottom capture zone. That's an odd choice, but might just be that he overshot on accident. These are a little bit difficult to see for the pilots if they're hitting it from the wrong direction. I still have yet to resolve that, but at least both teams are equally affected. Yeah. He may not have a lot of in the way of breaking power. It's traditional for the design of a team ship. Oh. It looks like a uh, small shot running into Ash Meadow here that looked like a Tempest. Contact fuse, high explosive. Yeah. Uh, another shot towards Abel Green. I don't think it connected. Ash has captured his zone. So each side now has a zone. Liam off on a zone down near the other capture zone, but not taking it. All right, cocktus are out in the air. This is the new effects play. that have been created by moi. Now, Got what are they going to hit? Ash. Oh, great. On Ash. One, two. What was the plan here? They just ram straight into shields. Oh, maybe they were hoping Ash would be caught sleeping. Yeah, it looks like uh, he did. He launched it directly into enemy fire and it is being cut apart, but uh, nothing else. It's uh, <laughs> it's, it's like a stationary uh, gun platform. It's slowly being peeled apart, but that is keeping the fire off the rest of his team. Game sounds are a tad loud. That's interesting because I can't hear him at all. Which is normally what I want. Uh, Kermie's making a run past Demon Fox. Oh, a little bit of jump drive there. Ah, that's why. Well, I will be deaf to the game for this match. Configuration skill issue. At least you guys can uh, you can hear the game. <laughs> Tate putting fire towards Demon Fox right now. Never mind, he switched his fire to Ash Meadow. All right. He was jumped out of range. So it's a little disappointing seeing the uh, stutter stop performance going on, but it is a match involving Tate, so you get what you can have, right? These grids are excessively massive in comparison to their peers, uh, just in terms of their pounding box. Uh, this little slip fighter has been cut apart and is no longer a threat to Ash Meadow, who is slowly crawling into the zone, left by ARP. ARP, on the other hand, looking to make a trade here with their interceptor.
Nash is successfully decapping the uh, art zone. Kermit hasn't quite reached the TGS zone yet. They're still ignoring the third zone that Liam could have captured quite easily on his own. Not sure what's going on there. Uh, Tate making a move to capture the zone that was left open, I'm guessing. Yep. No. Nope. Yep, there he is. Therapy oh, he, have he's back. totally abandoned their particular zone. Twitch has just informed me uh, with the big pop-up going over top of some of my controls and part of the chat that I'm reading uh, to remind you guys to follow because this is such a great platform and I'm really not planning on moving to YouTube. Honestly, you know? But hey, back to the fight. Abel Green caught way out of position. I don't think he has any, like, grand ability to move here. Yep. He's got a single blink drive that might be out of charges as he just starts getting cut to pieces. Yep. Tate has captured the other zone, so with Abel taking one zone, Tate taking the other, Harp is now getting a point advantage over TGS, but they may end up losing Abel Green for that. This might actually work out in ARP's favor because they were behind on points. Wow. <laughs> if they lose Abel, they'll be even more further behind. Even more further behind? Even further behind. Though these ships tend to be difficult to make red. Well, Abel Green is certainly uh, starting to feel the pain. Yep, he sure is. <laughs> Check where we're at. Uh, yep, his main drive system is gone. He has no effective operable thrust at this point. His blink drive is still in existence. Operational might be a different uh, thing, though. Well, operational, sure, but also uh, a place of mind to use it. Oh, Tate has now flanked the TGS fleet. Oh, yep. Trying to draw their attention before they read out Abel. This is a good play by Tate. If I was TGS, I would ignore him and just turn and burn straight to his teammate, read him out, and get those extra tickets on the card. But they're also occupying the zones again, so... Either way, it might be just fine for now. They still have over 700 tickets per team. They got Liam on Abel, still trying to cut him down. Tate jumping ahead. Yeah. And that's the good call. That's what I was going to say. If Liam can just focus on Abel, Demon and Ash will be able to uh, occupy Tate. Tate's shields are uh, about to collapse here. He's about to start feeling unwell. Poor Abel's bow fell off. As Let's Tate's see. shields finally drop. Alright, now's the time to see how durable those turrets are. Watching the turrets. One, one Tempest turret is tracking on Ash. The other Tempest turrets are uh, just kind of sitting there. Confused. Not sure what they're doing. I don't know, we got one moving. That yeah, might I be... see one. It looks like this third one back here is uh, looking at Ash. Looks like uh, he's uh, elevated them too high. They can't depress far enough. Ah, uh, yeah. He's uh, a little bit of a uh, construction issue there. The dart's saying that uh, ARP cannot get the Tempest working because the shields don't go down, but uh, I'll disagree and say the Tempest are for making shields go down. If they fire. <laughs> That's the important part. I'm gonna go check on this other fight here. Looks like Kermy is not red. He just used his jump drive to try to get away from Liam a little bit, who is uh, slowly following him around.
the right hand side of Tay. What is that? Port? That's port, right? No, it's starboard. Fuck. The starboard side of Tate has been sandblasted away, ground down to the keel. Just about. Uh, another news, Kermi drifting along practically without any ability to move, minus his uh, flight drive, just sailing along. He still has operable um, trident turrets, which are... Firing. Still chasing. There we go. Leaves jump dry. Well, uh, ARP are now back together for a nice family photograph before TGS finally lifts their boot again and stomps them out of existence against the sidewalk. Bite down, please. Tate is gone red. He's gone red. Tate has gone red before Abel Green. Amazing. <laughs> a thruster kill. A thruster so kill. A thruster kill on both. We have a thruster kill on <laughs> both. Zero over zero for both of them on thrust. That's TGS victory. Well played. Fair enough.